So I actually, I went to high school at Riss. I went to St. Pius, my, started my junior year. She was in my, my sister's grade, but we like knew of each other. A mutual friend of ours texted me out of the blue one day and said, do you remember Brody? I told them I was single in New York and they're like, uh, Marissa from St. Pius just moved to New York. And then Brian texted me and said, you've got to meet this guy. He's a stud, he's a family man, he's funny, and you guys are going to get married, so. Our first date, we just honestly laughed a lot, and from that moment on, everything was just very easy. Every date, we probably went on like seven or eight dates that first month, and every day just kept getting better and better. And I knew early on, I was like, this is it. Like, this is the girl I'm gonna marry. I just always find myself wanting to be more like him. And everyone who meets him says the same thing. He just loves people really deeply and hard and is very selfless. I love her sense of humor. I love just how passionate she is. I love, I love everything about her. I think she's the most loving, most caring, funniest person in the world and I can't wait to marry her. Man, I love how that sounds. I cannot tell you how excited I am to marry you. You are my best friend and will be for my entire life. I am beyond lucky and honored to be your husband. Being your husband and loving you will be the greatest thing I ever do. People always say they were meant to do something or were destined for something. Well, I know my destiny was to find you, my soulmate, and start a family and be with you forever. This will be the best weekend of my life. I've pictured it since the night I met you. But I know that when I see you walk down the aisle, you will be even more stunning than in my dreams. ask why I love you and want, why I want to marry you. You make life sweeter, you make life funnier, you make life exciting, you make life passionate, you make life meaningful, you make life loving, you make my life complete. Romans chapter 12 verse 10 says, be devoted to one another in love. Well I promise you that is what I will do. Those are so beautiful. Oh wow, that is beautiful. Whoa. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Brody and Rissa, the church shares your joy and warmly welcomes you together with your family and friends as today in the presence of God, you establish between yourselves a lifelong partnership. May the Lord hear you on this your joyful day. May he send you help from heaven and protect you. May he grant you your heart's desires. 
and fulfill every one of your prayers. I am so excited to marry you today. You're my best friend and I cannot wait to do life with you forever. Today is going to be so awesome because you'll be by my side today and always. And I love you so much. Chris and Brody, God has led you to do something extraordinary today. You'll profess your love for one another finally and totally. You'll commit to each other till death do you part. May this same God bless you. May this bless you, blessing bring you joy. May you never be tempted to believe that love is momentary. May you build your relationship on loving deeds. And may the same God who calls you together fulfill you in his eternal purpose. I, Brody, take you, Marissa, to be my wife. I, Brody, take you, Marissa, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Marissa, take you, Brody. I, Marissa, take you, Brody. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. We have gathered 200 members of our family and friends here tonight in support of Marissa and Brody. And so tonight, tonight we are 200 strong, but we are one family. We are one family tonight. And to be able to welcome Brody into our family is so special to us. You only have to look around the room and see 200 people who now are here to support you for the rest of your lives. Not just tonight, tonight's the night to have fun. This is about the next five years, 10 years, 30 years, and that's what we want for you. We want you to feel that. We want you to be looking to us to help you every step of the way. like you all to raise your glass love life happiness may your troubles be few may your blessings be plenty god bless you I am the first person to introduce to all of you, Mr. and Mrs. Niporti, and the bride and groom may kiss.
I've never seen her laugh harder or be more herself or have more fun than when she's with you. So I really thank you for giving her that. I couldn't have picked a better match for her. When you say brother, you have a best friend, an absolute best friend. All those qualities, what a, what a best friend is. I'm absolutely honored to be able to share my best friend with someone like you. June 30th, 2017, Rissa and Brody went to Drunk Shakespeare, where Brody first said, Riss, I'm in love with you. May 13th, 2018, they celebrated their one year anniversary together. And June 30th, exactly one year to the day, which I don't know if you know this, you proposed to Rissa from the day you said I love you. Cheers to the memories and the milestones that bring happiness to your faces. Cheers to the inevitable challenges that will bring you arguments and tears. But overall, cheers to the faith and the laughter that will get you through it all.